It is the day after meet the teacher, and I am not sure that I am mentally prepared to go through all of these supplies that were dropped off. So before I do anything overly productive in my classroom, I think I need to tackle all of the supplies that were dropped off. So I'm getting, um, taking the sign-in sheet. I've numbered them so each kid has their number and it corresponds to the number that's on their bucket. And I'm going to be making them labels. I label everything, every folder, every notebook, every crayon box, everything. And so that way there's no confusion throughout the year and I save it so if I need to reprint more, it's cool. And you put them on shipping labels. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now let's label some stuff. I need to do these. I should have had these out for me, the teacher, but <laughs> guess who didn't? So it was kind of crazy trying to help each kid find their number for their bucket instead of just writing in their name and putting their name on their bucket. So secondly, I hoard dry erase markers and I know I get them every year, but I only give the students one out of the package and I keep the rest and I decide who gets a new one when and how. They have to be completely dried out before I even look up here at my stash because these things are gold, okay? So I'm getting ready to take them all out of the package and get my new ones that I got this year and put them in there and put one in everybody's box. One. Okay, I'm going to finish sorting through my supplies, but I have to show you guys something really cool. Look at this. Look at it. How beautiful is that? It's an old straw dispenser, and you put your sharp pencils in there, and watch, watch, watch. That is so cute. And just when you think that your room is practically finished, they drop off your curriculum. boxes yep nice so after I unboxed all of my new ELA curriculum I don't really like it the old curriculum that we followed was journeys and this is I don't know if it's journeys but like journeys 2.0 or a break off from journeys it's called HMH and I'm not 100% in hate with it, but compared to the beginning levels of Journeys and the beginning levels of HMH, their beginning levels are more like second semester kind of reading, and I'm just a little worried how I'm going to use those with some of my kiddos, but they have a bunch of online resources that I have yet to dive into or even look at or even think about looking at but now I'm gonna have to get on that ASAP because I have to meet the students where they are and not that I have low expectations but I'm pretty sure 
they're not going to be on that level walking in to first grade. So that really did kind of bum me out. But I'm just going to throw it on my bookshelf, dive into it later, because I'm ready to go to lunch. Now that I think about it, I really should have unpacked these boxes over there near the bookshelf that they're going on. <laughs> 